expensive. It's a big ranch. And we bought it in 1987, primarily for the pistachios. But up in one corner, way up over there, in one little corner of the ranch, there was a little hundred acres of pomegranates. And I talked to Linda and Stuart Resnick about what to do with those pomegranates. And they said, well, we don't know anything about pomegranates, but let's farm them for a year or two and see what happens. Well, we farmed them for that first year. And we were amazed. The fruit was beautiful and large. It was, they were the finest pomegranates anybody had ever seen. And we thought, well, golly, there's got to be some unique combination of variety and soil and climate that makes this a great place to grow pomegranates. There are thousands of varieties of pomegranates around the world, and there are big differences in the quality of the fruit. But look at the ruby red color, the size of the arils and the flavor. Some have very few arils and mostly connective tissue. When you open up one of those pomegranates, there's very little edible portion inside. Uh, the wonderful variety has a very large proportion of, of edible, edible arils inside the fruit. A lot of bang for your buck.